Hi friends, it's Colleen, and we are back to our normal content today with a review of Hollow Taco. I have been trying to make this video for such a long time, but each time I thought I was ready, another collection came out. So let's look at all three of the Hollow Taco collections. Oh, and as you can see, I did film this video with my face in it, so I'll be using some screenshots throughout, but I took way too long to talk about everything, so I'm going to skip right to the nail polish. I filmed myself using all three of these collections, starting with the Hollow Taco Peely base each time, so let's get into the launch collection. The launch collection contains one coat black and royalty blue, and three hollow top coats, flaky, scattered, and linear. I was really excited for this black. If you don't know what Hollow Taco is, it's a nail polish brand by the YouTuber Simply Nail Logical. Her real name is Christine. And she's done some videos about black nail polishes and how most of them suck. So I knew she'd done her research and would be releasing a good one. I am showing you all three of the Hollow Top Coats here over both colors so you can see how they each give different effects. The flaky top coat has chunks of hollowy stuff in different sizes and shapes. Scattered gives you some hollow glitter but lets you see through to the other side like a regular glitter polish. And Linear has a really packed fine glitter that gives you a hollow reflection across your whole nail. Now I'm ready to admit that I am a hollow noob, mostly because there just aren't that many hollow options outside of this brand. And I'm learning to use these to get the effect I want in different situations. For example, I used Linear Hollow over some neon colors, which turned out to be not a great idea because without direct light on it, it just added this like weird grayish hue over the super bright colored of the nail polish. I'm going to call that my mistake, but I think that Linear Hollow is the one that's maybe the hardest to learn how to use properly because it's hard to know what colors it will be visible over or not. I was definitely drawn to the flaky hollow top coat the most because, hello, look at the big sparkles. But keep in mind that because it has lots of different sizes of flakes, you're not going to get a ton of control over where they arrange themselves and how your manicure looks. I used this top coat over a light pink, which looked really nice, but I had this one monster chunk flaky that shoved itself into my nail polish and just wouldn't budge. The control freak in me was not pleased at first, but now I know that that is just the way of the hollow flaky and we get along just fine now. Scattered is the top coat that you can just throw over everything and it adds a little bit of sparkle without messing anything up, so start there if you're a noob like I was. Okay, let's talk about the holiday collection. There are five colored hollow polishes. Honestly, I tried really hard to talk myself out of this collection when it came out and I even did temporarily convince myself that I didn't really want or need it, but the more I watched videos on Simply Nail Logical and Hollow Taco's YouTube channels, the more I wanted to try just a real hollow nail polish. Christine talked about how her intention with this collection was that you would get the full color that you see in the bottle in two to three coats. And that spoke to something in my soul. Because how many times have you purchased a cute glitter polish only to use it and find out that it's basically clear with some patchy streaks of glitter in it? Luckily, while I was waffling over this decision, my boyfriend bought it for me the day it launched because he knew better. When I finally opened it up, I was excited to see the colors in person because I knew that I would love Play Rosé and I would probably like Rainbow Snow and Frostlight, but I wasn't sure what Party Punch and Midnight Spark would really look like until I had them on my hands. As you probably saw in this clip, these polishes do have pretty much full color after literally just one coat. I am madly in love with all of them, but the biggest surprise for me was Rainbow Snow. I first put it on like, cool, it's silver, it'll be fine. But it has the brightest hollow glitters and so many layers of them in different sizes that when I use it, I'm completely mesmerized, which is a little dangerous for me because I have to like live a life and do my job and not stare at my nails all day. I'm using all the colors here for you, but shortly after filming this, I painted one hand in rainbow snow and one hand in play rosé and I went to Las Vegas and it was a 10 out of 10 magical experience. Midnight Spark, I think, is the one that comes across the least like a hollow polish, but it's still pretty hollow. This collection is amazing, and I think Christine is coming out with more hollow colors soon. She's been hinting at a rainbow collection, and I will definitely be buying all of them forever. These polishes are super colorful and glittery, and they dry fast. The only downside is that these polishes are thick, so you have to move really quickly and triple check if you close the bottles constantly while you use them, but the benefits far outweigh the slight learning curve and the paranoia, at least for me. Finally, we have the Unicorn Skin Collection. Now, to be honest, this beautiful iridescent box probably drove 65% of my purchasing decision here, but to get to the contents, another huge selling point for me was not milky white. 
Since Christine dropped one coat black, I think we've all been a little curious about her coming out with a white, because she's also made a few videos about how most white polishes suck. She also included Indigo Away and three unicorn skin toppers. All the unicorn skin toppers go really well with this deep color, but I did wonder at first why she chose this color and white. It turns out the iridescent flakies look really different over light and dark colors, so it was actually pretty genius in my opinion to include both because you can really get a full range just from this collection itself on how much you can do and how many different looks you can get with these unicorn toppers. Anyway, about the unicorn skins, there are three colors, solar, aurora, and cosmic. They each have a different flash in direct light and indirect light. I've had one polish like this before and it looks pretty close to solar, so I was excited to see with this collection that these come in other colors. I feel a little dumb saying that, but I just hadn't thought about it. I guessed beforehand that I would like Aurora the best because it's pink, purple, and blue and that combination is just very exciting to me. I was pretty intrigued by Cosmic and I wasn't sure if I would like it because it's pink and a goldish greenish color and I just really wanted to know what it looked like in person. The biggest surprise with this collection for me is not just the different color flashes, but there are more differences among them than just their colors. Solar seems to have smaller little flakies than the rest. Aurora has super large flaky things and it looks a lot more subtle than the others. And Cosmic is really, really shiny and comes across a bit more packed with flakes than the others. It might be kind of hard to see those differences here, but I did give myself a really weird manicure last week where I used a bunch of different base colors under all three of these unicorn skins and for some reason I also cut one hand short because I thought it might help you to see them on short nails. Anyway, you might be able to see the differences a bit better in these uh, on my week old manicure, so enjoy. To wrap this up, I painted all of the Holo Taco polishes onto one of those nail polish wheels and these are all one coat. Right off the bat, you can see that holiday collection with all of those beautiful hollow colors and literally that's one coat. So you have pretty much full color. I also feel like the cream polishes really stand out to me when looking at this wheel. Again, those are all one coat and they are not at all streaky or patchy. You're getting pretty much a nice full color with just one coat. The unicorn skins and the hollow tacos are a little bit harder to see on this color wheel. Obviously the flaky hollow taco really stands out, it's beautiful, and you can tell with the unicorn skins that they do have that different flash of color for each one. So clearly I am a fan of hollow taco and I'm really looking forward to what comes out next. I feel like a lot of YouTubers will often put out their own brands or collaborations and I just, I don't know, I'm very skeptical, especially in the beauty industry, of diving into these kinds of things because I just feel like a lot of companies and brands just take advantage of influencers and the influencers don't really get a lot of say in the quality of what they're putting out. So I'm usually very skeptical. But Hello Taco is actually a brand owned by Christine and she personally will test out these nail polishes and use them for a long, long time before she makes decisions on what to release. So I feel like this is most in line with just another beauty brand out there, even if you remove the YouTuber part of it. I just think that she did a really good job capturing what she likes about nail polish and about hollow in particular, and just making sure that she puts that out there as authentically as possible and she tells her audience what to expect. So I really love this brand. I think she's done a great job and I am so excited to get more. Now that is it for my video today. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you're looking for me, you can find me at any of the social media handles down in the description box, or as always, you can find me at brokeforbeauty.com. Thanks again for watching. Please like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below. Let me know if you like Holo Taco, if you've tried any of these collections or which one you think stands out to you the most. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. Bye.